What's going on guys? My name is Cal, Jailbreak Central, and today I'm here to tell you everything that just happened at Apple's Spring Forward event. Um, now this is the event that they were supposed to announce the Apple Watch, but aside from that, no one else really knew what they were going to talk about. Um, and in terms of releases, this isn't a big one. There's nothing too surprising that Apple did um, that really stands out. Um, so starting off, they announced a new MacBook. Um, now this, it's just called MacBook. It isn't, I'm not sure if it's actually going to replace the MacBook Pro, they didn't explicitly say, as far as I can tell, um, but it is its own line, so just called MacBook, um, and it's 13.1 millimeters thick. Um, to put this in perspective, the 11-inch uh, MacBook Air is 17.3 millimeters thick, and that's at its thickest point. So this thing is paper thin. It's ridiculously thin. Um, people who I've talked to that have held it say that it's kind of awkward, actually, how thin it is, um, believe it or not, um, but that is... Pretty big deal uh, that they did that. And then it's also supposed to come in space gray and gold. So if you want a gold MacBook to match your uh, gold iPhone 6, you can do that if you so desire. Although for me, at least the gold MacBook is a little bit too flashy. Um, so this new MacBook will start at $1,300 or 1299 um, And apart from that, those are just the main features. Um, now moving on, they announced the Apple Watch, which everyone, of course, was waiting for. There are a ton of different prices for the Apple Watch, and there's a ton of different stuff going on, so it's kind of difficult to cover it all, but I'm going to keep this pretty short. Uh, the Sport Watch starts at $350 and goes all the way up to $400, um, and the price difference there is in screen size and the type of uh, band that you get, like the, the part that goes across your wrist, uh, those are also priced differently. Um, and the Sports Watch, uh, that's the one made of anodized aluminum, um, and it's supposed to be able to handle sort of extreme sports, exercise, stuff like that. Um, now, the Apple Watch, just the normal Apple Watch, which is made out of stainless steel, um, starts at $550 to $1,050 for the 38mm uh, watch and $600 to $1,100 for the 42mm watch. Um, now, apart from that, there's nothing else too big with it. The, the only other upgrade is that it comes with sapphire glass, as well, which is uh, one of the strongest materials uh, that you can make uh, a watch like that with. So it will be very resistant to cracking and scratches, which is pretty cool. Um, of course, there's wireless charging or sort of Bluetooth charging. I'm not actually sure what they used, but uh, that's not too exciting. You just kind of plug a device into a wall and then let the Apple Watch kind of sit on it. You don't have to plug it in, but uh, still exciting nonetheless. Um, moving on, the gold watch, which everyone was curious about, I'm sure um, you are as well. 18 karat gold starts at $10,000 and goes all the way up to $17,000 for this watch. Um, now, this is obviously a very limited edition. It will only be, uh, be sold in select countries, and probably none of you will buy it. <laughs> I mean, that's just a ridiculous amount of money to spend on a on a watch, and I don't think Apple, I actually have no idea what they're doing with that because that just, it just doesn't really make sense. Um, so moving on from the watch, I'm sure you guys, there's, I, by the way, I made separate videos for the features of all of these, uh, more in-depth features, so if you want to check that out, you can do that. Uh, they should be on my channel up either now or later on. Um, so this is just kind of glossing over what happened. Um, next up, they, uh, HBO launched a new standalone subscription service that is exclusive to Apple, uh, which means people will be able to pay $15 a month, I think starting in April, um, to HBO. And then anyone with an Apple product will be able to uh, to watch, uh, let's say, the new Game of Thrones season, which is coming out uh, April 12th, I believe. Um, and they can watch that for $15 a month without having any of the other HBO stuff. It's just a standalone subscription service, which is pretty cool. On that, hope you guys have a great day, and see you guys later.